Okay, hello everyone. Um, welcome. I'm gonna do today's. Well, it's was the eleventh, I think. The prompt for the eleventh, which was duality, and later in the earlier in the month, I asked. Uh, she has this ca character, uh, Belzebub, and I ask her uh, which prompt would fit best for him because I've, I've, um, I've always wanted to, to um, draw him and this was the, the perfect opportunity to do it. So, um, duality through so like strong opponents. Um, I wanted to you know, reflect it with the line art as well. So they have this part that is pretty open and kind of nice, and the spot is rather dark. And I want to do something kind of blunt with the inks. And um, yeah. This is really out of my comfort zone, so it's gonna be fun. Uh, with this part being really, really super dark. So, I'm spilling my tea because it's early in the morning for me. It's uh, 8 a.m., so yeah. Slow start on my end. <laughs> so, first, I'm gonna like draw the line art, just do the, the outline of the line art, and I'm gonna use a brush pen for it because I want a strong um, a strong line and I drew uh, she said that a snake would fit him well too so I I drew this. I drew this snake here. It has um, a belt that is snake, snake uh, with a snake beating his own tail. So, and what I'm looking for right now is a thinner, fine liner to actually do that. And I just hope that it looks like what she had in mind for him, but... Okay, <laughs> here she is. Thanks, Kios. I hope it looks like what you had in mind. Said that his most uh, remarkable feature are his eyes. So I've tried to. I love drawing eyes. I was super happy about that. And I try to. to put emphasis on the eyes. And I put that strand of hair in front of know, in front of his eyes because it looks like it, it gives more like mystery and you don't really know what he's up to because it's hiding. Oh shoot, I wanted to do a frame, but anyway.
But yeah, today I'm a little better. Let me get this trophy. Um, I sent my whole setting flying. And knocked down my tripod, my laptop crashed on the floor. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> Rough start. So I hope it'll get better as I go on. And if I have time, I'll do um, I'll do the um, Orbit one. I just sketched it yesterday. And I'm gonna do go with the with the liner, uh, with a finer liner for, for the eyes because um, I don't trust my brush pen. And I don't want to mess it up too much. But yeah. Gonna try to put in feathers on the eyes as much as I can. color is um, dirty golden and I know from experience that metallic watercolor for eyes is just creepy it is not good looking so I'm probably not gonna use golden watercolor for the eye I'm just gonna try to do the dirty Go dirty gold look with ink, which is gonna be a real challenge. And this is my typical way of doing eyes. This is like my trademark, I guess. I do a little of the purple and then a little spot of white for the highlight. I might think it thicken the lines later. Yeah, yeah, metallic, whatever. I'm Swiss, I pronounce things like I want to, okay? Shoot. <laughs> you shouldn't you should be sleeping, Mike. And I know Alexei Kazinski, let me butcher that name, is you. <laughs> but it's nice to make things more precise. Okay. Metallic, whatever. Okay. <sighs> Let this dry, sip my tea. Before I can erase it. And yeah, there's a lag, I think, so. Um, if I don't answer straight away, it's because either I'm drawing or it's the lag. Where's my eraser? Here. Okay. Just let's hope I don't smear it everywhere.
And yeah, the table moves a lot because I have a wonky standing desk. And uh, when you erase, I uh, usually sp uh, spill my tea everywhere. When I erase. Uh, yeah, same, Mike. I wish I knew how to draw here too. It's like a struggle. I swear, this looks okay, but um, like a tiny strands of hair, just like, ugh, it's a struggle. Okay, thingy, I'm gonna tape it. See, it doesn't buckle. The one thing I'm kind of anxious about because of yesterday experience it's okay it doesn't smear but yesterday i put i put um ink all over because um the ink i used wasn't waterproof yeah i don't know how to draw hats so i just stick with hair but hats are cool oh shit So this is me and my obsession with sharp edges because it just looks so freaking good. your margin before anyway it will do For the mixing of ink. And a pipette. I have no idea. I think you call it pipette in English too, but. See what I'm doing. I'm gonna do three shades to start. That's a pipette. It's uh, this thingy. It's used in um, labs to pick up things, and you um, basically press on it, and zip, it sucks the um, liquid. Where is this one? Yeah, the plastic water squeezer boop. <laughs> ah, an eyedropper. Yes, eyedropper, that's it. Thanks. But pipette is so much cuter. Okay. I just hope I won't spill ink everywhere or send the whole thing flying across the room because that's what happened. And it happened twice this month with Inktober. So, where to start? Okay, this is the scary part. So, this part is gonna be super dark. So, let's go super dark. Actually, I'm gonna start with a light wash everywhere. So, it's. Yeah, light. This is not light. This paper is so weird. I'm not used to it. <laughs> okay, there's
I don't remember if she mentioned it, but I know if I go to Discord to check it, my my laptop fans is gonna are gonna go crazy. So I'm not. I'm just silver. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. That would actually be super gorgeous, but. Just what is that? Ah, who this? Ah, it's um Bill Zebub, Bill Zebut, Bill. I know, I have no idea how you pronounce that in English, but it's uh, Chaos characters from Celestial Illusion, the demon of uh, crap. I don't remember. Yeah, Bill Zebub, Bill, Bill, Bill. I'm calling him Bill because it's it's easier. Okay, money return of the Edge Warrior. I'm here. Lot of applause. Yeah. Black. Great. That's what I thought black, but I wasn't sure, so I just wanted to confirmation. So it's gonna be super fun to draw the strands of hair, which I'm not really not used to, so yeah. Um okay. I don't like this paper with ink, but it dries super fast. So yeah, um, I know Chaos you bought uh, ink. Um, uh, if you're looking for a good paper, I would uh, go for something that has a rough texture and a lot of um, yeah um, depth and I think you call that teeth. Um, because this one is super smooth and it dries super fast. And you have like marks like this that can happen and it's a pain. But at least it, it dries faster for 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 a live stream it's kind of good. <laughs> Oh no, not this one. This one. Shit. But I'm probably gonna do the snakes either silver or gold. Do red. It's it's grayscale, Mike. Black air, green eyes. Ah, you said he has dirty gold eyes. <laughs> oh, the music. Um, it comes from Pretzel, and I'm not sure. Oh, I can go back, but it's. Okay, green eyes. Um, a dryer.
like uh, I'm, I'm I don't want to know what baked goods can do. <laughs> So I'm just trying to map out <laughs> pretzel. Okay, uh, it's pretzel music. Oh, I'm not even gonna argue with you. The link is in the link is in is in the description box below. And if you wanna, but yeah, it sounded like um like Zelda to be honest. But I I don't know. It's probably it's uh, license free music. Because. YouTube. So yeah, I'm just mapping out the shadows on the hair. Yeah, royalty free. Yeah. Um, I can. Uh, you can DM me so I uh, I can uh, give you a bunch of um links because I I did some searching for it for the live stream, but I have a lot of um. Uh, royalty free music so just r just remind me because my memory these days is just like crappy whoa don't die on me Okay, now to darken this side. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, you know. The only time I painted hair was digitally, so you have, you have that, that mighty um, um, undo command that is so useful. Uh, yeah. Bye, Mike. Thanks for joining. And good night. Hi. Samuel Thompson, whoever you are. <laughs> 
Okay, I need darker. Blake, okay. It's nice having you here. It's been a long time. Haven't seen you around. It's nice, we have a lot of people here today. Oh! So you didn't hear my babble until now, Chaos. You missed a lot. That's dark. What is really scary with dark bulb ink like this is that, that you need to your shading to be kind of accurate, otherwise it just looks like a mess. And I want that bold contrast sharp edge because of uh, the prompt duality. No, oh, <laughs> I almost dropped my paintbrush in my tea, guys. Happens to me all the freaking time. Yeah, it's okay, girls, no worries. Um, I'm sorry I, I should have waited for you, but. Uh, yes, you <laughs> It's super good to see. Oh, I better save it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna recap what I've said so far. So yeah, duality, as you said, for this character. So I'm trying to with is um with the line art um as uh first like this part is more open, more like light, uh, etc. And this part is more dark. So I'm trying to darken this part which is super scary for me because um i'm i'm, I'm shy with everything <laughs> basically and um yeah I, i'm unsure of where to put what so but to be honest i'm probably gonna go full dark for the hair full black So yeah, I hope the um, design, like how it looks like, is how you kind of think of him. I just went with uh, the feeling I had when I read uh, chapter 2 of Celestial Illusion, so... <laughs> I, I can do it for you, but I'll just send my setting flying across the room. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but not too much because, like I said, I um I just made a move and everything went flying across the room. My laptop uh, crashed on the ground. The webcam just <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was epic. I I like. Oh, 
I was scared that my webcam would stop working, but it, we're good, we're good. So why are you awake at this ungodly hour? Yes, to watch me stream, I, I get it, but still, should be sleeping, you all. Oh, this song is nice. good and yeah I <laughs> I'm gonna do probably the snakes with metallic watercolor and Mike is not here anymore to correct me on how I pronounce metallic so I pronounce metallic how I want to but yeah and this is dry I'm gonna dry this because my paintbrush Because I'm so used to not trying to have my Swiss French Swiss accent that I <laughs> I, have, I go too much too too far in the nasal sound I think sounds okay I need black I need straight black so I'm gonna go Okay, is it hair or not? I think it's hair. I'm gonna do hair. Part is starting with the hair.
I'm sorry if you can hear the sound coming from outside but my neighbor decided it was time to do I don't know what but I would stop let's just hope he don't he doesn't start again Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll buy. I'll buy five of them. <laughs> and I really, really hope you'll get it published because I really like the story and the characters, especially the libet. gonna publish self self publish or uh, self publish or traditional hmm. and screw publisher do your thing if you want Omni, go Omni. Honestly, like... Oh yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah, I, I found that, um, from what I knew, like from author like Brendan Sanderson, tradi uh, publisher, traditional publisher are more forgiving if you already have like a lot of, of things published and you can go with Oh, <laughs> thanks for the nail color. <laughs> I'm glad you're not ties. <laughs> but yeah, I always pick my nails. And yeah, um, I, I get what you mean, Chaos, when you say that Omni is the only way for you to tell the story. Because uh, you have a lot going on and I feel like, yeah, it's the, it's the only way. And like I was about to say, um, I think, I don't remember, my thoughts are a mess. But uh, I think like you, you really improved uh, from from the first edits and the first one I, one, the first time I read it and um, last time and um, I'm confident you can really push this story for and make it epic while using Omni plus your characters are just just on point Okay. Epic. 
And I love uh, angels and demons stories. Oh, thanks, Blake. <laughs> I'm all about contrast, but I don't want too much to like his hair or black so his hair is black. I'm sorry, this is like uh, the worst thing when uh, speaking French and trying to speak English is hair because hair in French is plural. So I always say hair are and it's so freaking hard for me to 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 get into the habits of saying hair is it's so weird for hair to be singular Oh yes, angels and demons spelling. Yeah, yeah. Um, Beelzebub is one of the the worst when it comes to that. dark Okay, so I'm gonna do then the eyes so he, he, he stops looking like an alien. I so I'm gonna start with um, lighter wash. Yeah, sort of. Let's see how it reacts on this paper. It's actually quite good. This is like my favorite effect when it comes to watercolor and inks. It's like this feathering effect. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm unsure of how I, if I pronounce it correctly because it's 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 hard. Oh, I don't have tea anymore. No. Is it dry? Oh well.
Beelzebub. Okay. Because in French, Belzebut. Yeah, Belzebut. It's weird to talk French after talking English. No, you stay in the eyes, please. Probably gonna darken this eye a little. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think you'll have to voice chat it, yeah. <laughs> one I can put um, like silver gold and silver gold yellow gold or like warm gold 
I feel like silver of or light, mm, silver golden would work better for his personality, but okay, yellow gold is Michael, so more like those ones. Yeah, okay. Oops. <clears throat> I'm just gonna change my water. Do this one. Or silver. I like the warm silver. Okay, I'm gonna get that away or else it's gonna end up with ink everywhere. too golden. I can do a layer of warm silver and then a layer of silver above it to kind of um, make it colder. I can totally do that. Because the silver is super light and on white it doesn't show as well as the other so Okay, first layer. I'll go back with the final liner after to make the edge sharper. I'm probably gonna do a background as well. I like, I really liked what I did with um, the juice one yesterday. I like the dabbing. Actually, I can do that now. I'm gonna go light, but it was fun, and it creates like texture effect. I really like. Yeah, I'm sorry you can't see the effects of the met metallic, metallic. <laughs> oh, now I'm super self-conscious about how I pronounce metallic.
is Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> I can't help but think of that. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Just waiting for the water to like activate the pigment. Ooh. I'm sad because I'll never be able to capture how it's in real in reality, but it just looked gorgeous. I think like layering works super well. Oh, it's silver, it's kind of silver gold sometimes, it's just, whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm just like looking at it, not like underneath the... I'm gonna add the sparkle in the eye. What well, sparkle? And my gel pen suddenly decided to die on me. This is why I. We were talking about uh, art supplies yesterday. And this is why I. I where I struggle with um, gel pen. I never know how to use properly gel pens properly but yeah so I'm I, I, I kind of don't like this sharp difference between his um, but it's like this that I just like my my blending soft blend uh, attitude is like doesn't like it but I think it's it's good. I'm just gonna add a little shadow here. I don't know. I want to. Yeah, but it's duality, you know, I need to, I, I, yeah, I want to blend and, but it's duality, it's, it's, yeah. So, I'm trying to create, yeah, sharp contrast. See, so, I'm gonna take my gel, uh, fine liner and go back. Or on the is it dry by the way I'm, I'm gonna dry it first <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm fangirling too. It's gorgeous. And I know it may sound like arrogant, but I drew once a girl for a. It's one 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 of my uh, original character, and she was so freaking gorgeous. I was so so fun going over her, and actually I struggle a little. I I did a, a first sketch like a few weeks ago, and I wasn't really happy with the way he looks. He looked, and I redid it like a few days ago, and. He looks so much better. I like I really like I really like him in the book, so <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I think it's a it's a style the sharp oh that's a hair. And um, this is really not my forte. Some people are able to use ink like boldly, but I'm just like super shy. And I'm really like, I don't really know where to put shadows so far. Um, I'm working on that, but yeah. I'm just gonna go back on the eyes. Feel they can do with a little more intensity. But yeah, this is the, the the thing I usually do off screen, like editing, going over the lines again. Uh, yeah, because I really really like uh, your chapter where they are interacting. I think it's a chapter two, where um, Paige meets them both. And okay, I want to do the make the line art bolder, but at the same time, kind of scared. There we go. Oh, I'm glad you like it, like him. <laughs>
There we go. I'm just adding like line weight. I'm crazy about line weight to make things to add depth to it. And I feel like the ink washes take over the line art a lot during the process, so I just like to go back on it. And this part is already pretty dark, so there's no really much to do. Okay, I feel I could darken his, um, the wide of his, this eye a little more, to be honest, because it looks just a little odd like this. There we go. I think it's better that way. Okay. I think I'm subtly done. And yeah, it's been one hour or two. Oops. Um, I had. I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm just gonna untape it. happy with how it ends up like like I said over and over again sharp uh, really contrasting shadows is not like it's a struggle for me and uh, it was a nice challenge it was something that I had in mind I, I wanted to do duality that way uh, anyway to so like uh, a face portrait with super sharp contrast so like doing BLZ it's, it's the last one that I struggle the most the last um, <laughs> slab of that I struggle the most with the name but yeah I was glad to to do this uh, for him. Plus I really really like to draw friends uh, or original characters. So. There we go. So yeah, I kind of messed up with the line art at first. So where's the gel pen? I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. Gel pen, come on! I think that's 
particular way of using it that makes it like you have you don't you don't I mean I don't know I don't know how you did Jesus supposed to but yeah so here we go it was really fun to do and yeah I'm really it was nice having you all here and being able to to do this with you chaos and thanks Blake for joining and uh, Mike as well for the small part he was here to just correct me on pronunciation pronunciation so yeah thanks for joining thanks for staying for chatting etc and uh, yeah I think this, the schedule works pretty well actually I'll try to to think about it for a later live stream so thank you again and uh catch you in discord probably bye